Welcome back to House Supper, guys. As stated in the last episode, this is going to be a two house episode. Uh, we'll have a look at this one first and see what we can do. And then we'll go to the next one and see what we can do with that one. So, let us get rid of none of this yet. We'll sell all this shortly. Let's just get inside first and have a look where we are. That's a pointless door there. Right, that'll get, that'll get changed. Ugh. That is nasty. And that one is... This is going to take a lot of work, this one. Oh, a lot of work. Right, so... I shall get this all cleaned up, and then we shall... have a little idea of what we're going to do next. Right, this all cleaned up with all the rubbish and debris off the floor and all the broken furniture and stuff have gone. So I think that is probably going to be, this is going to be open plan, I think. Uh, the bathroom can stay there. That's like a kitchen dining room, uh, a bedroom and a bedroom, a bedroom, bedroom living area and or not living area and kitchen I think yeah so that's what we'll do so the next time you see this house it will be done so let's just have a little before and after shot before and there's this one before as well uh, the bathroom is really really tiny but it doesn't really need to be big. A lot of work need doing in this house. That one there as well. A lot of work. I might even just... If this is going to be dining room, I think I might just open plan this out. I think. And then this would be the kitchen. Fabulous. Right. I shall see you guys. In a moment. Right, little uh, progress update. I've... Plastered all the walls, all the radiators are fitted on. That door's sealed up. This is opened up now. Uh, like I said, all the walls are like repaired. That door is now sold. So yeah, I've got to work on all this shortly. Um, but just a bit of an update. Everything is looking a lot better than it did before. So the next time you see this, it will all be decorated. Okay, another little update for you. All the rooms are decorated. I've kept the same colour scheme throughout, apart from the kitchen and the bathroom and this bedroom here. But this the second bedroom, the hallway and the living room are all the same colour. I've got the same floor going throughout. Uh, keeps a bit of uniformality about it, if that's even a word. Um, it's just the basics, really. It looks nice. Bathroom. That's what, Oh, I need to get rid of that. Don't need that. Right, so this is what the bathroom's going to look like colour-wise. Keeping the floor like it is because that's fine. Uh, there's going to be a shower. I've got rid of the washer thing there. I might need to move the toilet. Uh, I'll probably have a look at that after I've done this. Uh, the living room is here. I've already started putting the washing machine in because I'm putting the washing machine here. And I'll probably put the fridge there as well and maybe something else there. Like the normal utensil, not utensils. The main appliances you'd find in a kitchen, I might even put a dishwasher there if there's room for it. And then obviously the kitchen sink and everything will be here. Uh, but yeah, that's what it's looked like so far. So, the next time we come to this house, it will be fully decorated and we will be selling it. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. Right, and after an hour, this house is done. So, let's have a quick look and see what we can get for this one. So you look, come in, and in this room here, you've got one bedroom, you've got a double bed in here, a shelving unit and a chest of drawers. Nothing fancy, because it's, it's bare minimal. Again, some chest of drawers in here, and a fold away bed, gives you more space if you need it. I thought that was a pretty nice idea. In the bathroom, nicely decorated. And you've got your, your essentials in here. 
and if we go into the living room just two settees tv and a bookshelf again no extras because there's no point in wasting money because they're not really going to give me that much extra money and now the kitchen is a bit different but it works green it's nice i like it you got your dishwasher right in the corner close that door up your fridge freezer and your washing machine and quite a lot of storage space again nothing extra added to it because it's for them to actually like see what they can get for it so i don't know how i'm going to do this if i'm going to sell this one now or leave it until the end in fact yeah i'm going to leave it to the end i'm going to go and do the next property and then we'll sell them both at the same time all right i'll see you guys in a moment okay time for house number two the connoisseur's house right so we, what we'll do we'll get rid of all this junk first and then we'll take a look on the inside and see what we're working with there's a lot of weeds i'll get rid of all them off camera i think yeah let's get rid of all this and then we'll have a look inside and see what the damage is oh this looks absolutely disgusting there's a nice little office space there uh yeah what's in here kitchen horrible looking kitchen that's the front living room space fabulous and this is a bedroom probably yep i need to do some plastering work in here that's nasty and then this must be the bathroom yeah it is that is horrible right so let's get rid of everything we don't need it all and hopefully we should have a decent enough space to work upon and have oops and have a nice house after we have finished but there's a lot of junk on here uh, yeah, get rid of them lights. Don't want them. Get rid of that rug. Everything in here is going, apart from the fixtures and fittings. Keep them. Get rid of all this. Oh, yeah, all these empty bottles. I think they must have enjoyed a, a drink or two, this uh, owner of the house before I bought it. There's quite a lot of empty alcoholic drink bottles. Get rid of that. See, look at them all. They're everywhere. Everywhere you look. Alright, get rid of this. Some plastering work in here as well, I think. And get rid of you, get rid of you. Oh, get rid of you. There's quite a lot of plastering work in here. Uh, yeah, get rid of you. And the kitchen. Oh, there's a lot. And I mean a lot here. Oh, get rid of you. Get rid. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, come on. Yeah, if you're wondering why I look kind of different from the last video, it's been a couple of days since uh, I recorded the first house. I've had a lot of stuff going on at the moment, so I've had to have time doing that. But I'm here now again, so it's all good. Get rid of that, don't need it. Uh, keep that light, I like that. Keep the smoke on. More bottles, more bottles. Get rid of you, right. Empty, 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 and empty. Get rid of the doors. So I'm going to have new doors throughout. Uh, that looks all right. No, get rid of that door. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that. Keep that light fitting. Because why not? Get rid of that. Get rid of the front door. Oh, and get that sneaky hiding away. Right, what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean everything up and i shall be right back right that's everything clean and uh, i would just gotta think of a layout possibly um it's two bedroom i could obviously extend this into the living area I've, when you, you need the kitchen off the living area don't you where's the kitchen gone i think it was here weren't it? Yeah, this was the kitchen and that was the living room I think I'm going to swap it round, bring this wall out, 
Don't want to do that. Uh, what do I want to do? This. Bring this wall. Probably. Yeah, I can fill that in. Bring this wall to here. And that comes down to there. Yeah, I can do that. That'll work. And I can't get through there. Yeah, that'll work. And I can have like a doorway here. Because it makes sense the kitchen being here with the back door leading outside. So that's what I'll do. So I need to, just so I know what I'm doing. That wall can come down. Right, leave that like that so I know what I'm doing. Get rid of this as well. Get rid of that one. And that one. Right, so I know I'm getting rid of that. Uh, so this can be a living area. Cause it'll be it'll be a reasonable size. I'll probably relocate this door as well. Hmm. I was thinking about sort of changing bathroom around, but I'll leave that room like it is. That room could be a bathroom, and then you got a bedroom here, which is fantastic. Right. So what I'll do? Cause I'm going to try and keep this video at a normal size, which is going to be a tough task because I've the two houses. Um. I'll do all this work off camera, get rid of these walls and get prepared for the next phase, which is the decorating. So I shall be right back, guys. Right, I've got all the paint colours sorted and everything else is done. Uh, all the walls are repaired. I've got doors on. Uh, colours, like I said, for each room sorted. Bathroom walls, colouring is also sorted. Uh, I made a little cock up with this wall because when I put the original one there I kind of when I went to the side and put the other one there it was one block off but looking at it it actually works rather well because you could have the TV in this corner the settee here some bookcases and whatever in there and it's, it's nice and having your worktops recessed by one will look pretty decent i think but we'll have to wait and see for the end result for that one so what i'll do i shall get cracking with painting this and then uh i'll give you an update <sighs> right so the walls painted it's gonna look really really modern in here i really do like how it's starting to turn out i need a light switch in here there's one there fantastic yeah, it's going to look really, really nice. So, what I've got to get on with now is window fittings and then furniture. So, on that note, I shall get cracking with that and we can come back and see the final product. Okay, so I think, apart from this room, I'm done, so I'll just give you a little bit of a, an update and show you how well it's actually going. So this is the master bedroom. It's looking really, really nice. Nice and modern, stylish. Uh, everything colour coordinating and contrasting very, very well, if I do say so myself. Uh, really impressed on how that's come out. Bathroom, again, looking really nice. We can do a quick overview of it anyway. The living room, again, stylish, modern. I like it. It's very, very nice. And the kitchen, I really do like this kitchen. It is so modern. Just the way it looks is amazing. And I think, I think that's it. It's just this room here. Uh, I'm probably just going to throw a bed in there, but I think we are done. In fact, yeah, let's just throw this bed in together. I was going to make it into um, uh, an, an office, but there's not much point. I'll throw this bed in. That'll do nicely. And you will you fit in this gap? No, you won't. You won't fit there. Uh, you'll fit there, though, but you'll block the window, so I can't use that bed. That's fine. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's look, 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 look. What can, bed can we go for? That'll do. That'll fit in that gap though, won't it? I think, will it? 
Will it fit in? No, it won't. So I'll have to spin it around this way. And there you go. That'll do. Just one bed in there. And that'll be fine. Fantastic. So I think what we'll do, we will head over to the the first house and we will have a one final once over. In fact, we'll do the once over on this one first and then we'll go to the other one, do a once over and then we'll sell them both and see just how much we can make. This is probably going to be a short video as well. Uh, I do apologize, but let's get cracking. So as you've just seen, the living room, it's a nice, nice corner settee, uh, a couple of bookshelves. I'm not putting any plants up because there's not, no point really. Um, I want to try and keep it clean and modern, which it has done very, very well, I think. Uh, I really do love it like this kitchen. I really do like it. The way it's turned out, dishwasher, nice little oven, everything in this room contrasting beautifully. Oh, I've missed a bit. I've missed a bit. Right, let me just get that little bit there. I don't need that. Don't need to get off. Should still have. Uh, that, oh, that'll do. I can't wait. Oh, no. Right. One second. And then now I need to go and buy that paint again. Right, uh, wall. Let's do it this way instead, it's easier. Paint. Can't believe I did that then. That was just absolutely abysmal. A rookie mistake. Ro rookie mistake. Uh, get rid of that. And while I'm at it, I might as well uh, make that one the right colour. Excellent. Right, get rid of that now. Anyway, as I was saying, I really do like it. Nice and modern. Just everything about this room screams by me. 21st century kitchen right here. I really do like it. What do you what do you guys think? Do you like it? If you like it, pop it down in the comments. Tell me which one is your favourite room in these two buildings that I'm I've done up to sell and let me know. Uh, again, obviously we've just seen that in there. It's just a bed, bed, bedroom. And the master bedroom again. It is really, really nice. Nice bit of uh, coordinated furniture. It's really nice. And the bathroom. Fantastic. Right, so let us head back over to the first house. Right, so we are now at the house after the flood so again this is nice and stylish i really do like the way this has turned out and i've missed a bit of wall there it's, it looks all right actually uh no it doesn't let me just sort that out i can't remember what paint i used for there i'll uh, sort that off off camera before everything it so oh right so you've got one bedroom here again it's uh pretty basic but let me move make that more centralized there you go it's pretty basic you only really go to a bedroom to sleep but you know there we go for that one uh the second bedroom with the fold-out bed it looks all right not too crowded and cramped uh, you've got enough space here, you can go to bed. When you get up in the morning, pop your bed up. And you've got more room here to do exercises or, you know, get dressed or have a couple of seats in here. A uh, nice little TV on the wall, you can watch it there. It looks good. Get rid of that. Uh, the bathroom, it looks alright. It's not the greatest bathroom in the world, but it's it'll do. You know, you go in there, do your business. It's fine. Uh, the living room, again, very minimalistic. Oh, I forgot about that kitchen. Very minimalistic. It does the job. And the green kitchen. Now, on first glance, it does look a bit weird. But it's funky. It's catchy. I, it it 
works surprisingly enough it does actually work so that is this house right here so what i'll do paint this off and then we shall get selling so i won't be a second guys okay so we spent an hour and six minutes on this house and we bought it for just under forty-three thousand pounds and it has six rooms so let's put this on auction and see what we get for it uh, so straight off the bat profit is nice want anyone higher anyone higher 51 8 52 53.6 54 000, a seven not really that much of a great profit but 54,187, which is just under 8,000 pound profit. And what we'll do, we'll make that slightly higher if they'll go for it. And will they? Excellent. So we've made just under a 10,000 pound profit on this house. So let's see what we make on the next house. Okay, so we bought this house for just over 45,000 pounds and again. Again, it six has six rooms and just under an hour on this house in total so let's see what profit we can make on this one so again straight off the bat seven eight thousand profit there straight up for nine thousand profit and we get hit ten thousand oh we do that's a big profit big profit really nice eight thousand five hundred profit fan Fantastic. Let's see if we can be cheeky and get this over a ten thousand pound profit. So will they will they take it? And they do. Thank you very much. So we made so yeah, we actually made a nice little chunk of chunk of change there on them two houses. Not too shabby indeed. So we have two hundred and seventy five five thousand available to us so we could do something like the family house next i think oh actually that's not too bad bit of a spruce up bit of a redecorate and we could flip that yeah that's what we'll do next in the next episode we will do the family house in the next episode so i've actually got a new outro thing i just want to check it and bring this up so thanks for watching uh remember if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button right there it's right here here you see it right there uh also that one there will be my latest upload so if you're watching this in the future that's what i've just that one there is what i've just uploaded there and why don't you check out that playlist there as well you may like it you might not do so i'll see you all in the next episode see you later